Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, we are going to take a look at navigation. So if your user picks, or let's say you have a button in your app and the user presses that button and wants to know how to get to that place, then we're going to open up that place in the Maps app and show him the direction so that he can navigate to that destination easily. So that's what we're going to take a look at today in this video. So let's start by code project double tapping on there. I'm going to make it a single view application and I'm just going to call it nav. Pretty simple and straightforward. I'm going to save it on my desktop and here we have the layout. So now the first thing that we're going to focus on is our main dot storyboard. So this is where we're going to lay out our app and I'm going to have a pretty simple layout consisting only of one button. Of course, if you have a, an app that shows restaurants, for example, then you want to have, maybe you have a list view and then the key user can pick a restaurant and you open up that navigation. But right now we're just going to have one button. So when the user clicks that button, then we're going to show him the way to a certain place. And we're going to name it, show me, uh, show me the direction and like that. And then I'm just going to place some constraints. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And those constraints. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to share the view with our view controller and our storyboard. And then we want to drag in our button. So that when the user clicks that button, then we're going to perform an action, first of all. And then I'm going to call this button show me where awesome names, connect that up, and then we can head over to our main view controller, our view controller file, because now we are going to focus only on that one. Now, as you can see, the benefits with doing it like this, opening it in a separate Maps app, the app that Apple has already made for us, we don't need to import core location or work with any frameworks and all that. All we have to do is focus on the transitioning from our app to the maps app and we only ha also have to pro provide it with the end destination that's all we have to do we have to give apple maps the end destination and apple maps will handle where the user currently is and how he gets to the end destination so very simple and straightforward and as we'll see not too much to code but one thing that we do need to import is our map kit import map kit so that we can work with our latitude and longitude variables so we're going to say let let uh, latitude of type CL location degrees. Now we have to find a location. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to open up Safari here and then I am going to go to Google Maps and I would encourage you to do the same thing because Google Maps has a nice and awesome feature. You can actually get the coordinates of any location. So if I now search for Cali California because the device, the simulator is going to show that I am in California as a default. So I'm going to take something that is in California like here. And then you simply right click and click on what exists here or whatever it says in English. And then you just copy these coordinates, shut down Google Chrome, no Safari. And then you just paste it in here and that's going to be my latitude. And then I go, I'm going to have my longitude down here. Longitude. So this is just to, this is just defining our final destination where we want to take our user. I'm going to comment that here also. Defining destination. Okay. And the next variable that we have to define is let region distance. Now this isn't a variable or a constant that I would uh, think too much about. I've tried to experiment with leaving it out. For some reason it did not work. Maybe I did something wrong, but at least I found that this works. So I'm going, this is the method I'm going to share with you. CL location distance. And I'm just going to set that to a thousand, which really does not matter. Then I'm also going to define the coordinates coordinates which I already have but I need to combine them to a CL location location coordinate 2d and it's a make 
So I'm going to make it of my latitude and my longitude variables, or constants that we made above. The next constant that we have to define is our region span, so setting the region of the map. And this I'm just going to call let region, region span, and that should be an mk coordinate region make with distance. Now our center coordinates is our coordinates that we define right above this line. Here we are going to put in region distance and here we are going to put in region distance as well. Then down here we are going to define some options. And these are just going to be options that define how we want it to appear. So I'm simply going to say options is equal to mk launch options map center key. Let's see, it was right there, center key, awesome. And here we're going to say ns value made up of the mk coordinate, coordinate, which is a region span dot center, center. And then we also have mk launch options map span key. And here we're simply going to say ns value, which contains our mk coordinate span. I think this should autocomplete. I don't think uh, really I, you're going to have to do all of this. But um, in case you have to do, then just write just like I'm writing here. Uh, region span dot span. And then I am going to have to close this off. And probably down here also, I need one of those exactly right here. Awesome. So now we have our options defined. Again, this is a long and complicated line. What it means really does not matter. But if you sit down, you can probably figure it out. But it's all about how we want our map to appear, how we want our navigation to appear, how much we want to be zoomed in and all that good stuff. So now the last four lines that we're going to need is our place mark. So basically our end destination, we want a place mark there. And we are going to have we are going to place this place mark at MK. Let's see, place mark. We're going to first create an MK place mark. And the coordinates for that is going to be, we can just suffice with this one. It's going to be our coordinates that we defined above. Coordinates. So now we have a place mark on our final location. Then we're going to need let map item, which is going to be an MK map item and this is going to be made up of our place mark which we defined above which is place mark awesome there we go and then we simply have to add it to say map item dot name is equal to so now you can define uh, what the pin should say um, this should be the name of the location but of course you can put in anything you want to I'm just going to say my house and then we have map item dot open in maps and our launch options here you can see here we're going to use the options that we defined above to define how we want it to launch so we're just going to put in options because we have already defined that so now i'm going to launch it in my iphone 7 plus simulator and if everything is working as we want it to I'm going to be able to press the button and then it's going to take me over to the maps app and then show me the direction to our destination that we have defined here. So here is my app and now I am going to click on show me the direction in order to get the navigation. And here we go, here I have my pin, show me where my house is and it's, uh, and it's also recognizing where I'm currently at. So I can now click on directions, let's say I'm in my car and it's now going to display the navigation from where I am to the end destination. So this is awesome if you want to make your own app and you want to give the user a little bit help of finding a certain location. Of course, you can also build it into your app, but that requires a bit more work. But this really is a simple and awesome method 
because you don't have to uh, care about finding the user position, any of that. You only need to supply Apple Maps with where you want to go, the final destination, and then Apple Maps is going to handle the rest. So very simple solution to giving your users something awesome. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you click the subscribe button either up here or down there. And then if you do so, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.